you know, elected officials are, are often uh, tempted to uh, speak extemporaneously uh, because it's a bit more natural. But when we reached out to uh, Kelsey and some of our friends wanting to do this specific event, it was because of the significance of the contributions of, of, of these three amazing men and uh, probably hundreds if not thousands of, of employees of yesterday's over the last uh, several decades uh, that I, I do want to uh, actually uh, refer to my talking points a little bit more if you, if you would indulge me uh, in, in that regard. Um, in the mid-1970s, while Five Points was considered a thriving shopping district, it was definitely in need of a boost to its identity and also uh, an economic anchor. In 1976, Duncan and Scotty McRae and Daryl Barnes recognized the, poten the enormous potential of this building, uh, which had been built in 1935 as Gibson's Drugstore and served as a watch repair store and several other businesses over the years. Uh, equally, they saw the potential for Five Points to serve as a location for their new restaurant idea. At the time, opening a family-style restaurant in the, suburb in the suburban shopping districts might have seemed like a much safer bet. But they chose this spot, this location, in this commercial area of our city uh, to open yesterday's. In the last 43 years has proven that they chose well. Uh, the menu was a unique blend of fresh, locally sourced dishes representing family favorites from their travels. Duncan, Scotty, and Daryl had created what became not just a great restaurant, but a true community gathering place, a place that is easily identified with folks who know Columbia and those who visited Columbia to spend some special moments. Yesterday has not only brought a distinctive and ultimately iconic commercial anchor to Five Points, but would transform the economic and cultural impact of this area. The Five Points St. Patrick's Day Festival began in the yesterday's parking lot in 1981, just five years after they opened. It is now considered one of South Carolina's most identifiable festivals, generating an, an estimated $6 million a year in revenue each year. Are we ready for St. Pat's to come back, y'all? We're ready for St. Pat's, aren't we? Birth right here at yesterday's. And raises an average of, uh, of almost $40,000 every single year for local children's charities. 43 years is an incredible run for any local, regional, or national restaurant. Uh, its presence has certainly added to not only the history of Five Points, but to this incredible city we all call home. And it helps solidify, stabilize, and grow this area. Uh, before I, I take the pleasure of our, of our formal presentation, I'm gonna uh, give the microphone to Kelsey Hennigan to speak on behalf of the Five Points Association. Kelsey. Thank you, sir. Can you all hear me? As executive director of the Five Points Association, days like today are probably the best perk of the job. It's an honor to stand here with these gentlemen and get to be part of recognizing three Columbia legends. Duncan, Scotty, Daryl, words cannot express the magnitude of the impact you've had on Five Points and Columbia. But I can start with a few words of gratitude. Thank you for the amazing food. Thank you for creating an iconic St. Pat's and Five Points Festival and all of your generosity to the Midlands through the years. Thank you for this largely recognized destination, bringing folks from all over to our eclectic village. Thank you for your selfless service and your enthusiastic engagement in constantly elevating this neighborhood that we all love. Most of all, thank you for the memories. Yesterday's, these three incredible individuals, their staff, the memories that they've been part of making, and their lasting legacy are truly gifts to the family of Five Points, Columbia, and beyond. We can't thank them enough. Here's to a great 43 year run. Thank you for your momentous mark on Five Points. Thank you so much, Kelsey. Our words are immediately on point. I've had the privilege of representing the city for the last decade. And I get around the country, indeed around the world, telling people about what makes Columbia special. Some people know the University of South Carolina, 
Uh, many have trained here at Fort Jackson, where we train the greatest fighting force the Army, uh, the world has ever seen. Uh, some people know us as a state, see the state government. But I love to tell people about, about what happens when you leave campus, when you leave post, when you leave the halls of government, and you meet the people that make Columbia special, the people. I tell them people still pull over for funerals. Uh, we, we still have many open doors for ladies. We, uh, you can still find sweet tea in restaurants in Columbia, South Carolina. I tell them the most important thing is you find people who know the two most powerful words in the English language. And those words are simply thank you, thank you. And we wanted to come to Five Points to say thank you to three of our amazing citizens who have helped us shape the arc of this community for nearly half a century. So uh, in recognition of the decades of economic and cultural growth and wealth, and a wealth of identifiable branding in recognition to our city, one of our city's oldest and most historic commercial districts, the city of Columbia bestows its honor and appreciation to Daryl Barnes, Duncan McRae, and Scotty McRae for opening and sustaining yesterday's restaurant in the Five Points for 43 years uh, with our highest honor, uh, the key to the city of Columbia. I've never given the key and the elbow at the same time, y'all. This is it. <laughs> and I'm gonna let our honorees uh, have a chance to, to share a word. Hey guys, I'm not as polished as the mayor here, but I have a couple of notes. I'd like to start by thanking the mayor and our new councilman, Will Brennan, for recognizing yesterday's. I think the most important thing is to thank our customers and our employees, many of you who are here. Uh, it wasn't about Dun Duncan, Daryl, or Scotty. Yesterday's was our customers, our regulars, who I see many here, and the relationship between our customers and our employees made it a cheers-like atmosphere. Uh, yes, we served good food. We served good food. Uh, the guys did a great job. I'd like to single out some of our employees that were here. Uh, Roberto Cruz was here when we bought the building. We always make a joke that he came with the building. Uh, the Isaac family, Curtis, Doc, Toby, his two sons, his stepbrother, Dennis, Ned, Karen Martin. I could go on and on and on. Uh, we had a lot of employees that would come here as freshmen. Uh, they would work. They would fall in love, they would marry. Some would marry uh, other employees, some would marry customers. And over the years, their kids have come back, gone to USC, and also graduated. So we get to see the family like in a full uh, cycle. Uh, I think the last thing I'd like to say is, uh, Mayor Ben, please keep the St. Patrick's Day at its home. Don't let someone sneak it off to another, like West Columbia or somewhere. <laughs> and uh, keep it, even though yesterday's in here, St. Patrick's Day belongs in Five Points. Hopefully somebody will uh, re-lease the building and bring back yesterday's. The man in the tub is still here. And uh, hopefully we'll find someone to do that. That's all I have. I wasn't planning on it, but there's some other folks here that work for us. John and Laura Fassett, thank you. And their daughter. <laughs> and uh, the Prevagen isn't working real well today, but uh, I think that's his uh, Laura Musique and Rachel and Amanda and Lonnie and Come on, give me some more, Scotty. And Meredith. And, Meredith. <laughs> and everybody that worked for us, thank you. And thank you customers too. It's been a wonderful trip and a great honor for the mayor to give us this key. Thank you very much.
I won't say too much because I'm not good at this, but I'd like to thank my wife for putting up with me for all these years, for putting up, because this is, this is a tough racket to be married in. Anyhow, and thank all you guys. I love you all. You're great. Thank you. Um, well, thank you. I think we're just going to have some photographs and everything else and, and, and show these gentlemen and, and their families some, some love. And again, to all the uh, employees um, and people who made this place special, to all the customers who, who added the character and the support uh, to yesterday's. I mean, the reality is that is that this type of unique institution uh, lives on in the identity, the DNA of a community for, for years and years and years. Uh, so, we're, so we're thankful and thank you all for not thinking it robbery to come and, and to spend some time to say thank you to these incredible leaders. God bless you.